If you're a little squinting Tarantino, ho ho, stick around because I'm going to be talking about myopia. Hello and welcome. As always, I am Eyeglass Tyler. Thank you for joining me, my humble little abode. I'm so comfy. I hope you are too. I want to talk about myopia. And I think the best way to tackle this topic is to talk about what it is, the definition. I'll talk causes, some telltale signs, and ultimately if it's something that can be corrected. So stick around with me. We're going to jump into it. Now, what is myopia? Myopia is an eye condition that makes it difficult to see things out in the distance. Trade it off for having better near vision. A colloquial term for it is nearsightedness. And that makes it a little easier to understand the condition and what you can see as a myopic or nearsighted person. You can see things up close. Makes sense. It is the most common correction needed among glasses wearers. If it isn't the only thing, it is definitely a part of the prescription of the majority of people who need corrective lenses. And what happens is the eye is growing a little longer front to back, which means that the image as it passes through your lens rests in focus before your retina. And that's what myopia is. Myopia. <laughs> Now for the causes. <gasps> well, there are no known specific causes, but there are two big main contributing factors. And the first one's pretty obvious, genetics. Obvious to me anyway, because as I've experienced, when your parent has it, you probably will have it. And as a parent, your kids will probably have it. Sorry guys. Another contributing factor is extended periods of near vision use. And we're talking computers, cell phones, reading, books, anything that's a lot of near vision work for extended periods of time can worsen myopia. So keep an eye out for that. Now for the telltale signs of myopia. I don't know if you missed my little joke in the beginning when I said squinting Tarantino. <laughs> I want to make sure you didn't miss it. So I brought it up again. Well, that's one of the bigger signs is squinting. And if you find yourself squinting excessively and you're worried about getting those little crow's feet in the corners of your eyes, maybe it's a good idea to get that looked into. Also headaches, maybe from excessive squinting, maybe from eye strain with trying to see clearly. That can be another sign. Also, speaking of signs, if you have a prescription written for you, there's going to be a minus in the sphere column. By the way, if you don't know what that means, I did a little mini series on prescriptions and how to read your prescription. I would recommend you check that out. That's on our page on YouTube. Don't miss it. There's some good information on there, but a minus means that you have myopia. A plus means hyperopia. I don't need to get into that. We're talking about myopia. But I mean, that's it. If you have a minus in your prescription, you have myopia. If you're squinting, if you can't see things out in the distance, I mean, obviously, you know that you can't see things clearly in the distance, and then you can see things up close a little better. Go see a doctor, you nut. Now let's send this off with, can it be corrected? Well, yes, with glasses, obviously, of course, glasses, contacts, even LASIK, these are options for correcting myopia. There isn't any known perfect solution that you can be without glasses and not need surgery. There are some things for younger kids, but for the most part, it's a matter of delaying the worsening effects of myopia rather than eradicating the myopia completely. Uh, but for the most part, I mean, you got glasses. They're so readily available, so easy to work with, and so many options. I love them. Don't they look good on me? Just get some glasses. That pretty well covers what I think is important to know about myopia. Hopefully after I went over the definition and causes and some of the telltale signs, etc., you have a better understanding of myopia and this eye condition and you're just a little better informed. And if I didn't answer any of your questions, let us know in the comments down below and we'll get back to you. But by the way, if you do need correction and you decide to buy glasses from SportRx, thanks to our See Better Guarantee, you're never stuck with something that you don't like or doesn't work for you. Just get back to us within 45 days and we'll make it right. Also, we have opticians welcoming your questions and wanting to help you through the order process. If you have questions, make sure you get it right the first time. So definitely use this as a resource and reach out to us. 
Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully this was interesting or valuable. If so, throw us a like, we'd love that. We have relevant videos you can check out there. If you subscribe, you're gonna hear about those videos first and you know it. And also we're on social media. You can check us out there at SportRx. We have cool stuff, check us out. Not your opia, it's myopia. <laughs>